How long was the journey to Korea? Well, I flew over. We had one flight between California and Hawaii that was 16 hours long. My friend took the USS Brackenridge a ship and it took him 15 days. So I got to Korea before he did. Once we got there, we ended up uh, being in the same little Quonset hut, a little tin building with bullet holes and rips and tears from a lot of rough carrying on and when it rained we got wet and when it was cold, which in the winter time it was very cold, we were freezing almost all the time. How cold did it get in the winter? I was on guard duty one night and we found out from Armed Forces Radio the next day, they said that it had broke a record for many years, that it, that night it was 80 degrees below zero. And I had been on guard duty out in that 80 degrees below zero for five hours. And that is mighty cold. What all did you do in Korea? Anything that we had to do, I guess, to survive. But our job was to keep the F-86 little fighters flying, which at the time our unit had more flying hours than any other group in the whole Air Force. The planes were flying almost continually and we worked 18 to 20 hours most days. About how many people were in your unit? Well, the Air Force don't have uh, groups like the Army that travel all together. If they have a specialty need, they pick one person from somewhere and he comes and joins the group that is already there. But we found out that once I got to Korea, I walked into this little group and there was 12 people in the group. And I had known all of them except for one out of that group. But when we got to talking, found out that he had spent 15 years of his life living in Boaz and he was thrilled to find out that someone from his old hometown had joined the group and we had some things to keep up with that we had in common and I knew his relatives and it was good to have someone from close to home just to talk to.